Guys, guys, enough with the slacking. I need to list and sell possibly the greatest sedan ever made. So it needs a quick detail, and Lady430 is thinking me too. So this video, it's a face-off between the W221 and the W222. It's details versus also oh inconsequential details. Let's go. All right, old age goes first. Yep, I like cougars. Look, the rear is turning me on. And hey, you have to respect the C-pillar being welded to the roof. Very rare, very classy. All right, I know. Look, somebody did this to me. Can anyone recommend any good body shops in the West End? Anywho, without further ado, we start with a triple chrome tiered entrance over the top. They do not make door seals like this anymore, guys. It's all fabric, no rubber. The base of the seats, it's substantial. Listen, you're the boss, your throne can't look weak. The panels here are solid, and the plastic, it's got a soft touch finish. 17 year old leather. The secret, I use organic chia butter. Nothing but the best for my baby. I did forget about this part, you, you see the difference? Moisturize! But look at this, chrome belt, stitched leather skirt, it's scandalous. You know, this is definitely not the Joe Schmo setup. Ah, the big picture though, it seems so simple now. Behind the scenes, convoluted as hell, but outside, so simple, I love it. Consider this angle though, gorgeous, the bow shape, and notice how the door handles actually serve as anchor points for the chrome trim all around. Listen. S-Class is elegance. That's what it's all about. By the way, have you been up to date on your maintenance? Well, neither have I. I'm sorry, babe, I'll make it right. Dealer purchase filters going out. Amazon OEM going in. Guys, it's like a third of the price and my link is down below. You care about your baby, don't you? It's the doors though, man, it's the doors. They're my favorite. The styling here is called ruched leather, I believe. I mean, can I call this an iconic design? And here's another bygone luxury trend, thick carpeting. You know, your eyes can feel the thickness. And look, really look, the materials, no folds, no creases, with, of course, complimentary center console lighting and climate control. Are you getting the picture? Long body, baby. Now, technically, the interior color is a charcoal gray, but in the right light, honestly, I see blue. And the eucalyptus wood trim, it makes me see orange. Hey, no complaints, blue, orange, I love it. And check this out. This is before applying industrial strength degreaser. And this is after applying industrial strength degreaser. Just don't go too hard because you'll wipe off the paint. Two days ago, I had the cleanest W220 cup holders in the world. Now they're dirty again. This is the most convoluted design ever. It doesn't even work anymore. And sure, you can replace it. You know what? It's a quirk. Ah, this, the condition, the condition, the condition. No paint peeling. Everything is as it should be. Ah, this car is so old, it's so good though. It's so far been a miracle. I've got some work to do, I gotta show it a lot of love. It's been a little neglected. All right, moving on to the competitor. The car that I'm actually trying to sell. But first, please enjoy this ad. Watch it, click it, come on guys, I need it. 2010 Formatic S450. I, I know, I know, the badging, I'll explain next time. Oh, and this is not even fair. The lighting is perfect. It's got the summer sunset filter going on. Oh man. You know, the Vogue is not for everybody, but this is the most stylish S-Class body ever made. You know, for the money, the greatest luxury sedan is looking pretty. And you know what, at current market prices, it might not even be worth selling. I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. These 19 inch AMG rims are a little vulnerable. And truthfully, so am I. So let's open up, let's climb in, and let's acknowledge near perfection. This is absolutely brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a throne for your palm. This is pre-detail, all right? But look, your lazy hand does not have to move. The S-Class Kingdom of Luxury is truly at your fingertips. Volume with your pinky. Guys, there's a reason why the W222 kept this layout. Everything else is just cluster buster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is design. 
Look, you gotta understand, there's a lot of buttons here, but nothing is really in your face. You just have the noticeable climate control. A single row of elegant aluminum toggle switches with a high gloss black gallery right above, not just showing, presenting their respective functions. And hey, I think ambient lighting started with this model. Can anyone concur? See, ain't a damn thing changed. We do see the dash is following the curved suit. So good! Strong seat base, the rails are mounted horizontally. But it's hard, nasty plastic. Like, I mean Ford Escape hard. And don't get me wrong, the Ford Escape, I am knocking it. No fancy outfit here. But, the perforated leather is in condition. This ain't vinyl guys, this is 10 year old Napa. And they look simple, but heated, ventilated memory and massage. And dynamic lumbar. Hey, who did this? I did this. Ugh, oh, I don't do this kind of stuff guys. And you know what, about that shop recommendation. West End, anybody. Otherwise, there goes a thousand bucks off the listing price. That's two shares of Tesla post split. Buy them and hold them. Plus, some pre existing damage. I know, I know. It's being priced aggressively. And the steering wheel, honestly, I think it's the best in the business. Gorgeous, three dimensional, and the buttons, you don't notice them. This time around, they went the American way. Simplicity. The rear seat intimacy shades, all around. If it's not fully powered, it's kind of lame. Ah, you know what, does the legroom really matter? Ah, you know what, I'm gonna list it. But you know, if I don't get the price I want, I'm not gonna bother. I think a lot of you guys would say, you may as well keep it. But anywho, is it the W220? Or is it the W221? We're strictly talking about interior design. Let's do a poll, S-Class or S-Class. So join me next time when I actually list the greatest sedan ever made and have to start dealing with all the lowballers, douchebags, but also the value seekers and the gentlemen who know how to play the depreciation curve. I look forward to the fighting. And you know what, on a more life note, I just had some cousins come over, some nephews, you know, young, going into high school. It's coming up. And I'm there trying to give them advice. I'm taking it from the approach of, you know, what would I tell my pre-high school self to motivate me to go out there and, you know, get pumped. And I realized, man, it's not easy. In the comments section, how about this? Let me know, what would you tell, you know, some advice and life motivation? What would you do? What would you say?